hello guys how are you so today i'm going to talk about a question someone has asked me which is that how easy it is to uh, switch um, to quant finance or risk management while you are in a um, in a mid career right uh, well, there is no one short answer to this question. It depends all uh, on your uh, situation, but it's definitely possible. You know, I have seen many people doing that, but I will add new answers to it. Uh, you know, just saying that it is possible is not a good answer. So I'll try to sort of go into details as to for whom uh, it is possible, from whom it is less possible. So uh, first thing is to ask yourself as to why you want to you know switch your career i think uh, switching your career um, right um, after let's say 10 15 years it's uh, it's never easy right never easy for anyone uh, no matter which career you are in it's never easy to switch your career to a diff completely different field um, after working for 10 15 years uh, but if you're really unhappy in your career i think that is there is uh, every reason um, why you should actually make a switch, uh, right? It's never good to stay in a career for a very long when you do not like it, right? Or you are bored out of it or you feel like there is no growth in the career that you are in. So it's certainly something that you can consider, but you should not do it for wrong reasons, right? Wrong reasons being you want to make more money uh, and some people just tell you that, okay, you work in finance and you will make crazy sum of money i think that is a very wrong reason although finance does pay quite well i would say uh, there are um, other reasons as to why finance is also a good career right so see what you like uh, in the field of finance and then decide right once you have decided that okay you really want to explore uh, a career move to finance uh, that's something you know the best thing is to talk to someone in the field right now, I get asked this question many times, right? Uh, I'll talk only about the people who are interested in quant and risk management. There are other areas of finance also, right? Um, now, quant and risk management, they are, sub, uh, again, back office roles, mostly uh, support functions. That means these are more technical roles, right? Uh, a lot of people think that these are, again, front office roles. Well, there are some quant uh, front office roles, risk management front office roles. But most jobs uh, in uh, quant and risk management are a back office job, any technical job, even, um, I mean, uh, it's not exactly as IT is, but, but um, you know, if you're working in IT, then it's, it's somewhat uh, similar. Although it is somewhat um, closer to business compared to most IT roles, right? It's more like, you know, product management in the tech firms, right? Something similar. Uh, although the, the technicalities are very, very different. Anyway, so if you really want to make a switch, right, ask yourself as to why you are doing that. You know, if you already have a finance background, but uh, you are in complete different area. Like I, I was asked this question a couple of days back by someone who is working in the sales side and he's, he is interested to move to risk management. Uh, for him, it's quite possible because he already is working in finance, uh, in banking. He has quite some exp years of experience in the field of uh banking so it's easy for him to sort of learn risk management or quantitative finance and move to either work as a quant or as a risk manager or compliance manager but uh, for someone let's say working in semiconductor industry right is it easy for him to make a move to risk management or quant finance uh, it's not very easy but it's not completely impossible either Right. It's definitely possible. I have seen people moving from completely different area to quant finance. I have seen people doing, um, you know, um, research in astronomy or biological science and then making a move to finance. It's quite possible. Right. This finance is one area where anybody can come and work. Actually, you know, there's no strict requirement for uh, qualifications, except for in, in some roles like accounting roles. You need to be a chartered accountant, but many areas of finance especially in the banking side or insurance side, you can simply uh, learn things on your own and start your career. Your educational background is probably less important. The second thing is that if you're working on the IT side of finance, right, banking, right, many people do not know that you can make a really good career in the risk management side or quant side. There is a need of IT people who are good with programming, 
but they have no knowledge of finance and risk management if they actually combine both right risk management your knowledge of finance and you have understanding of models and you are already good at any area of it whether it's you know building apps or website whether it's it's doing data engineering uh, security cyber security and so on you can marry both and you can really you know uh, get a good profile so that's quite possible and i've seen many people doing that so that is not completely unrelated to finance if you have already ex some ex years of experience in um it in the banking side or in asset management side in so side you can certainly make a, a move and then then there are some people who are really specialist in let's say programming but they have never worked in the finance side right for them it also is possible that you can move to a quant developer role after learning a bit about finance right if you are a c++ specialist and you want to work in finance it's quite possible if you are a python specialist you want to work in finance on the quant side it's quite possible right right um there are also people who are into academia right that you know they have done phd and working in academia and they want to make a move quite possible in fact majority of my uh, colleagues actually come from academia so making a switch from academia to finance it's uh, not uh, something that you will be doing for the first time many people have done that and that is very well known in the industry so it's not a problem okay uh, one other thing is that if you are pursuing a side course and then trying to make a move it's quite possible right if you are doing a part time mba or you're doing cqa or cfa and then you are trying to convince the employer that you know i am really interested in this area and please hire me that's quite possible especially at lawyer experience level it's quite possible there is another section of people who do not really care about uh, let's say starting salaries and 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 they just want to get started that's quite possible you know i came across someone who told me that you know i have like 8 10 years of experience but i'm done with this career i really do not want to continue and i have strong interest in mathematics and i'm good at finance i i love finance i read macroeconomic uh, events i read about the markets and i have strong interest in finance can i make a career out of it and i was like okay but what do you want to make a switch at this stage he told me that i really don't like to continue in my career i'm done and dusted now for someone like him when someone knows that okay that's the end of his career in that previous field there's nothing wrong in trying something new and finance is definitely a good place to be in if you really want to make a fresh start in terms of salaries right i asked him how much you were making actually after working for 10 years he was making like around 16 17 lakhs annual salary right but in finance especially on technical areas of finance whether it's risk management quant in india at least i know you will easily be able to make 15 lakhs plus so what's wrong working as a fresher even right in europe where i work uh people even at the age of 50 and 60 they still work as an individual contributor without having a problem whereas in india you expect managerial role right after working for 10 10 years or 15 years right so that if you do not have that sort of mentality and you want to start as a fresher even at that age right even if you are in mid 30 you can still uh work and you can you can get yourself reskilled and start your career it's definitely possible i've seen some uh, mba students mba finance students also uh interested in in risk management role especially the ones who have worked for long years in sales marketing and uh, uh and more uh, customer facing role many of them do, do not want to continue there and want to move to something uh you know less stressful and risk management one such area in finance for them it's extremely possible quite possible i get asked this question uh, by many uh, employees from public sector firms in india for you guys it's quite possible you know uh, explore opportunities in this area it's quite possible that you can make a move it may not always be very easy uh, it's never easy uh, in any career but it's quite possible and there are people around you but you need to talk to people you need to reach out to people have a good network learn things right um, uh, everything can be learned uh, using books and courses and certifications and so on depending on what really suits you choose the path so a uh, long answer to a short question uh, it's possible but it depends on your situation as to why you want to do and you know if you really want to yeah just that 
just uh, explore something on this let me know you can either ask me questions directly write to me or just connect with me thanks guys